Sam, will you play against Canada? And if so, how long can you go for? <laughs> I mean, I would love to tell you guys everything, but you know yourself, being in sport a long time, that that's a massive um, thing that the opposition wants to know. And like Tony said yesterday, um, it's going to go down to the wire. Um, I'm definitely going to be available, but how we decide to use that is, you know, not to be given to the opposition, I think, is the main thing. Um, well, first of all, it's hilarious because I have the biggest calves in the world, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure why it decided to play up the day before the World Cup, but um, that's sport for you, isn't it? But, um, yeah, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be ready. And like we said at the very, very start of this, the plan was to miss the first get two games and reassess, and that's where we are now. Um and like I said, I had my boots on today. Very exciting. Um, but yeah, I feel I feel very excited about not tomorrow, the next day. <laughs> yeah, obviously um, it's not ideal. I think the kind of the shock of it happening, kind of you know, I still had hope. I, I've never had a I've never had an injury like this in my career. I mean touch wood this is the last but you know normally when I've been injured it's been really a big one where I've been out for months on end so it kind of just you know you kind of just it's an easy pill to swallow but I think with these ones it's a bit more annoying but um yeah it was obviously disappointing and then I had to kind of suck it up I'm part of a team I'm not a part of an individual sport it's not about me and that's what I've done over the last however many days it's been I've had to put the team first and you know I've been lucky enough over the last couple of years I've always been on the pitch for this team and I've always had teammates that have not been on the pitch and supported me and got me over the line so that's been my role the last 10 days and to be honest it's an it's an honor to be here I'd feel really lucky and privileged to be here. So the most important thing is that I'm a good teammate and I support my team and I look around women's football at the moment. I'm lucky that it's only a small injury compared to some other people. You look at Kira Walsh last night. Um, so you have to look at the bright side on, on everything. It kind of sucks, but there's always someone worse off. I didn't see her, um, her press conference, but um, I saw the goal. Well, obviously, we were watching it before um, we had dinner. I mean, she does that stuff every day in training. She's just a cool customer. She does, you know, we see that all the time, but the way she just glides past people like they're not there is she's a special talent. Um, and, yeah, I mean, she's so young, so it's scary what she's going to become. I'm really confident. I think um, last time we played Canada, we had... Obviously, we didn't get the results, but we had four or five players out missing, and we feel really confident. We've grown so much over the last year, and um, we kind of spoke about last time we... We're in the Olympics. We had to tie the world champions. So um, I don't know which one's a bigger bigger step to take. But, no, we feel really confident. I think yesterday was a day to di digest the game and um, go through it. But today we woke up with a um, spring in our step. Everyone's feeling really good. Yeah, I think um, we're, a, we're a really tight group and I think we're a really honest group. So after every game we meet as a team and we chat openly and honestly with each other. Maybe it's good things, maybe it's bad things, but the good thing about this team is that the captain doesn't have to have that role and everyone speaks up. And it was the same after the Nigeria game. We spoke openly and honestly to each other and then we move on and we prepare for the next game. And that's been something that as a team we've brought in because we think it's best for getting things out there, not starting little conversations. It's about speaking openly and honestly and it's a free it's a free room, it's a free time to express how you felt, what you thought could have happened better, what you thought happened better. And that's something as a team I think has brought us closer because we're allowed to, you know, voice our opinions, voice how we feel, voice what we think needs to be better. And then from the, that moment onwards, it's prepare for the next game. And I think that's really important in tournament football. We brought that in at the Olympics and it's just stuck around. Yeah, look, no pressure really. I think that's a question for Tony, not for myself. Um, Every 23 player here trains every day, um, whether that be on the field, off the field, and we're already at any given moment whether called upon. Um, I think everyone knows their role on and off the field. And for me, I'm given a job um, and I'm trying to execute that. And everyone else has their job on the field. So I think we all know what we need to do. And yeah, we're all ready at any given moment, whether that be a game changer or a starter. Yeah, look, it's a World Cup. Anything can happen. I'm sure you've seen across the World Cup that so many things, unexpected things have happened. Uh, when we did the analysis, we actually have played the best game in final third box entries we have in the last 15 games. And 
we created a lot of chances in attack and obviously those things that went wrong, um, that's football. You know, we're not going to point fingers, we're not going to blame people. Uh, we all need to be better. We all need to take accountability of that game. We all have. We've learnt from that and, yeah, things happen. It's football. It's not going to be a perfect match um, but we know that those things obviously are not acceptable and we're all turning a new leaf and, like I said, since that whistle went, all our focus is on Canada on Monday because we know what we need to do. Yeah, Sam's obviously a great leader, a great captain and having her on the other side, it's obviously unique for her. It's a different situation she's ever been in before. But I think for us as a team, we've really felt her there on the sideline. She's always been behind us and obviously during training and off the field, on the field. And I think also for her, us, we're all supporting her as well. And um, obviously I'm really happy that she did put the boots on today and that she's available for Monday. Um, it's a massive boost for us to get obviously our captain, our leader and such as a world-class player back in our squad. Yeah, obviously having Sam available, having Mary available, they're two of our world-class strikers back in the selection, selection pool back in the squad. So I think having them coming into our squad is a massive boost. Um, and I guess at the end of the day, it's just being clinical in front of, front of, front of goal. And we know that's where we need to be on our A game on Monday night. Um, we need players to step up. We need players to rise to the occasion. Um, it's a pressure moment and I know for a fact that we obviously have our backs against the wall and, you know, it's a do or die. And for us, I think we're better in that in those situations when we're the underdogs and we, you know, have everything to fight for. So, yeah, everyone needs to give their heart and um, no matter what happens, we have to stick together.